welcome to all this is dr vigneshwar mehta lecturer in geography in the previous video of nature and scope of human geography part 1 we have gone with introduction meaning and definitions of human geography and the development of human geography today in the part 2 video we shall have a journey into nature and scope as well as branches of human geography firstly let me start with this video with the nature and scope of human geography the ultimate nature of human geography is still a vexed question and even present day human geographers take widely different views the major thinkers from hippocrates down to present day have always been defining the subject matter of human geography as the study of relationships of human beings to its natural environment or the actions of nature on human and the reactions or actions of the human beings on nature the nature of human geography is interdisciplinary which studies spatial organizations of human activity and the people's relationships in terms of social cultural demographic economic political activities with the environment on surface of the earth the spatial relationships are at the heart of geography the people began to understand their physical setting or environmental environment and the forces of nature with time passage the main focus of human geography is human world in terms of man environment interactions and its nature can be viewed as the following the one human geography is human ecology in 1923 barrows in association of american geographers declared that geography is the science of human ecology and the focus was the study of human ecology of particular areas organic conception of state of origin sample and huntington's environmental determinism stop and go determinism of griffith taylor herbertson's regional concept and many other works to prove that human geography is human ecology but this concept was criticized based on the principles of ecology do not apply on human societies with the same magnitude as the upland flora and fauna the second is human geography is man centered geography fatty roger in his work anthropo geography pointed out that geography of man and his work would be put to systematic analysis as elements of the non human world in this first volume his emphasis was on in what manner the life of human beings upon the earth is shaped by the natural environment and at the same time frederick rogers contemporaries also moved on the studying human geography to analyzing activities of human beings and their culture in relation to the physical environment thus concentrating on man centered job proceeding this trend frederick george's second volume was written from reserve perspective the third is human geography is a social science human geography encompasses all these interests and topics of geography that are anyhow interrelated with the man made environments such as economic social cultural political and historical analysis of several social matters of branches in this discipline accordingly offering that human geography related to the family of social sciences four the facts of human geography are related to terrestrial unity the eminent human geographers such as 
Fred J. Rogel, Vidal de la Blache, J. Brunes, Devonshin, and uh, Huntington considered the principles of terrestrial unity. All terrestrial phenomena, physical or cultural, are interconnected and form the unique characteristics of land and woman on the surface of the earth as fundamental unifying concept of woman. The scope of woman geography is very much concerned with the dynamic physical conditions since it influences woman activity to a great extent in terms of social, cultural, economic and political activities on the surface of the earth. The physical conditions include location, climate, landscape, water bodies, soils and minerals etc. of a region or a nation. In all, the physical conditions which help to determine the development of human life, climate plays a predominant role for it is the chief factor in the formation of the physical environment and it decides the flora and fauna on the surface of the earth. This discipline also observes the evolution of human races, growth and population distribution spatially and temporally across the nations in the world. The content of human geography also includes the mosaic of culture, language, religion, customs, traditions, tribes and patterns of rural settlements and the site, size, functions of urban settlements. The development of understanding of all the facets of human beings, social, cultural, economic, political space is impossible as each one of these is massive and needs, needs specialized concentration. For instance, the human beings' economic activities include agriculture and allied activities, industries as well as services. Hence, it would be unfinished without focusing the study of branches which emphasize on human activities and organizations that have been progressed with the passing of time. Now, let us have a look into branches of human geography. Human geography is a broad discipline which encompasses various geographic sub-disciplines or areas of study as it focuses on the study of patterns and processes modeling the actions and activities of human beings on the earth and its environment. The branches of established academic disciplines are defined more through the subject matter than by methodologies of them, which the limits of boundaries of various disciplines difficult. An attempt is made here to discuss on interdisciplinary and knowledge in another discipline. The various benches of human geography include as the following economic geography, social and cultural geography, political geography, population and settlement geography, historical geography, urban geography, tourism geography, and humanistic geography. Yes. Now, we take a move to study the main sub-branches of human geography as following. 1. Economic geography. It is the study of location, distribution and spatial organization of economic activities across the earth. It studies economic activities 
including agriculture, industry, trade, transport, tourism, among other. Economic geography is a subfield of the discipline of geography. Given the variety of approaches, economic geography has taken to many different subject matters, including one, the location of industries, two, economies of scale, also known as leakages, three, transportation, four, international trade and development, five, real estate, six, ethnic economics, seven, gendered economics, economies, eight, core periphery theory, nine, the economies of urban form, and ten, the relationship between the environment and economy. And globalization. The second sub-branch is social and cultural geography. Social and cultural geography is a subfield within human geography that studies cultural products and norms and their variations across and the relations to spaces and places. It focuses on describing and analyzing the ways, language, religion, economy, government and other cultural phenomena vary or remain constant from one place to another and on explaining how women's function spatial. The source of faith, political geography. It is concerned with the study of both the spatially uneven outcomes of political processes, processes and the ways in which political processes are themselves affected by spatial structures. Political geography looks at space from the angle of political events, studies boundaries, space relations between neighboring political units, delimitation of structure, constituencies, election process, and development develops theoretical framework to understand the political behavior of population. Sub branches of political geography include electoral geography, geopolitics, strategic geography, and military geography. The fourth sub-discipline, sub population and settlement geography. This subfield focuses on the ways in which spatial variations in the distribution, composition, migration, and growth of population are related to the nature of places. The core issues in the study of population dynamics such as growth of population, distribution density of population, sex ratio, human migration, occupational structures, etc. The attributes of rural and urban settlements or subject matter of settlement geography. So sub-branches in this field are population geography, settlement geography, urban geography. Fifth sub-branch, the historical geography. The human, physical, fictional, theoretical and real geographies of the past time are studied in historical geography. Each and every region on the earth has undergone historical experiences before reaching the status in the present day. Even geographical landscapes undertake in various changes that need to be understood by time and historians. Geographers study patterns of geography by time, including how people intermingle with their surroundings and shape the cultural landscape. The sixth Sub-branch is the urban geography. The focus is on the study of urban areas with specific regards to the spatial and relational aspects and case. This branch also focuses the eye concentration of constructions and infrastructural facilities in urban centers. These urban centers are associated largely with economic activities or in the secondary, tertiary, quaternary, and quinary sector activities such as manufacturing, services like postal, banking, retail and commerce, etc. The seventh sub-branch of human geography is the tourism geography. It is the subfield of human geography which deals the study of travel and its, and its influence on places. The content of tourism geography is complex making a connection the two concepts of geography and tourism being rather new compared especially with the term geography. Geography is fundamental to the study of tourism because tourism is geographical in nature. And the 
Eighth subbranch is the omanistic job. It is a manner of approaching within the field of human geography that seeks to put humans at the center of geography. Humanistic geography refers to a wide ranging body of research focusing the importance of human experiences I am meaning in understanding the people's relationship with places, geographical environments. The focus of this branch is on people and their conditions. This gives a central and active role to human awareness, human agency, human consciousness and human creativity. Dear students, many of the sub-branches of human geography mentioned in the above paragraphs are the combinations of various of the combinations of more than one branch such as regional development and planning is a blend of academic geography, social and cultural geography, population geography, political geography, involving all tools and techniques of statistics and cartography of spatial studies. Because human geography borrows concepts and ideologies which were developed in other specialized disciplines such as atmospheric science, geology, 